Hey guys, welcome back to Decorate with Dana and welcome to my last decorating video for fall 2022. We're going to be decorating in my office today, just adding some simple decor in here. Mostly it's leftover decor that I didn't use in the rest of the house. And then we are also going to be doing our Trader Joe's fall taste test. I'm joined by my daughter and my husband even pops in here to taste a little bit as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We had so much fun making it. So we will start with the decorating and then jump into the Trader Joe's portion.
Okay, so here is how the office turned out. It's really simple, but I think it's really pretty. I love decorating these shelves on either side of my desk. It's just my favorite place to decorate. Up there, I have my real fern plant, and that planter came from Target like a year ago. And then over here in this little pumpkin planter, I have this faux plant that came from Ikea on that triple stack of linen books. And then this white pumpkin, I think, came from Joann's. And then down here in this bowl, the bowl itself came from Target like a year ago. These beads I've had for a long time. And then that little corn vase filler is so pretty. That came from Target. Down here, this set of three vases came from Target also probably a year ago. And then I just put this little woven pumpkin. I've had this also. I don't really think there's much new in this office. This is the last space I decorated for fall. So I kind of just used what I had left over. And then down at the bottom is just my wooden tic-tac-toe board. And then between the two shelves, I have this pretty kind of abstract art. And then up here in the top, this vessel came from Pottery Barn and I just have those magnolia stems from Target in there. And then this little landscape print came from Hobby Lobby and I just put that little kind of rustic pumpkin there and I have a little lamp over there from Target. These two stacked boxes I've had for a while, they are from Amazon. And then down here, I have my set of three candlesticks. Those came from Target, but I think they still, I have had them for a long time, but I think they still have them. If I do anything I have, if they still have available, I will link down below. That little ceramic pumpkin, that actually is new this year from Target. I just have it on that little stand that was from Hobby Lobby, I think in the spring shop. And then that little wreath I've had for a long time, probably from Joann's, but I'm not certain. And then down here, I just have this wooden doble with um, some kind of dried, I think it's like dried lavender bowl filler and then just some glass beads there. Up here on this shelf, I have this wooden stand that came from Amazon and another little ceramic pumpkin that is from Target. I have a vintage book next to it. And then this little print came from Joann's last year, but they do have it again this year. And then this little candle holder is from Amazon. And I just have like a burnt orange colored candle in there. So right here in this little sitting area on the table, this face is from Target. I did get it a couple months ago, but it is I think a newer one from this year. I just have some neutral kind of stems in there and a little fabric pumpkin down here. This bowl I think is also from Target a long time ago and I just put some potpourri in there. Smells amazing, has little pumpkins and acorns and um, pine cones. Anyways, I did get that from Pottery Barn last year. It was a little pricey, but I just put it in a Ziploc bag and it smells brand new this year also. So then over here I have this plaid pillow that came from, I think this was Target this year. And then this blanket is I've had for a couple of years. And then in this large vase here on the floor is from Pier One. I've had that for a while along with those neutral fall stems. So that is everything that I did in my office. I am really pleased with how it came out. I think it's just super simple. And this is officially the last area I had to decorate for fall. So next will be my fall home tour. I'm pretty sure that should be up a little bit later this week. But now we are going to get started with the Trader Joe's taste test portion of this. All right, so as promised, we are going to do our Trader Joe's fall taste test. I am again joined by my lovely daughter, Megan. My other daughter, she didn't get to be in it last year and she's not in it this year. She is doing horse girl things. So um, it's just us again, but we had so much fun doing this. We have a little bit smaller haul this year because we didn't want to re-taste test everything that we already did, which was a lot last year. So we tried to pick, these are either new items to Trader Joe's or just new to us. Like, I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So we have a ton of sweet stuff yeah, <laughs> and not as much salty stuff, but that's okay. Oh, we forgot the chips. 
But that's okay, we'll get it in a minute. Um, all right, so let's start, let's just do these, okay? Yeah. Pumpkin Blondie Brownies. These are new to us. I have never seen these before, but again, these may be things that you've already had. Okay, so take this, take our opinions with a grain of salt. This is just exactly that, our opinions. You may love these if we don't like them, or you may not like them if we do love them. So this is just all in fun. We mm -hmm. just have fun trying different things, and sometimes we step out of our comfort zone a little <laughs> bit, but it's all good. So anyways, pumpkin blondie brownies are very soft. They're mm -hmm. like a cake. They're like crumbly kind of. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, these are really good. They're, They're really pumpkin good. Pumpkin blondie brownies with white chocolate chips and pecans, and these are amazing. Like really mm. good. So we're gonna rate this one out of, one to five pumpkins, five being the best one being the worst or no pumpkins i guess would really be bad yeah. so on the count of three one two three five four and a half wow why why like a half up i don't know i mean they're good but i saved my fives for like oh, amazing but that these are amazing. actually pretty amazing okay so next this is definitely new like mm -hmm. i've never seen no. this either this is the salted maple ice cream they also had a pumpkin one. Yeah, we weren't sure about that. Though. Well, plus we just like, we have so much other pumpkin stuff yeah. that it was kind of good to try like a maple something also. So salted maple ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Long okay. Short. Ready? Yeah. Mm. That's really mapley. It is very maple. -y. What is this? I think it's a maple swirl because it says it has salted maple oh, flavored swirls. Maple yeah, I had some of that. It was really good. So I personally think it's very good. I do think it's good. I'm not like a huge ice cream connoisseur, so um, I prefer like salty foods. So, but I think it's good. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. It's very mapley. But I think it's it tastes exactly like it's named salted maple ice cream. Like it it does taste like that. Okay, one, two, three, three, three and, and a half. half. Wow. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. I think you should try it. I I definitely do. I don't hate it by any means. I'm just not like a huge ice cream fan. And I like I say, I'm more salty lover than sweet so it is extremely yeah. sweet i'm i'm more of a sweet lover i would say but i that's like even too sweet for me but yeah. also we're both not like huge ice cream people but maybe we need to have dad try it. yeah true <laughs> my husband should try this but he's like a he would be in this but he's also more of just a chocolate guy yeah he doesn't really like he's not a big pumpkin this. kind of fan yeah so that is cinnamon roll drizzled granola. I'm not sure if that's like a fall specific thing or if that's no. just, they might just always have that, but we've never tried it. So we figured we would throw it in. And I think of fall, like cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon things anyways. I think so. it was in like the new section. So we were like, oh, maybe. Yeah, it was like by the fall, but like in the new section. Yeah. We like, we've so had these things before. We have had, not this exact one. I mean, we've had like the lemon, like from different yeah. stores, not Trader Joe's, Smells but. Okay, okay, you ready? Yep. So it's very hard. <laughs> no, why is it? Like, see that? Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't say anything. I may have broken a tooth, but. <laughs> it doesn't say anything's in it. It, might it says cinnamon. soft baked clusters, <laughs> yogurt flavored drizzle, cinnamon oats. I mean, the flavor is delicious. Mm -hmm. But there's something like very really hard, hard in it. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. Mm. I'm eat with caution. So unless you want to go to the dentist the next day, but um, I think it's good. Okay, ready? One, two, three, three. Three pumpkins. Three. Three pumpkins. Agreed. Not the best, but yeah. the taste is good. Yeah. Pumpkin spiced JoJo's. So these are um, pumpkin flavored sandwich cookies in a yogurt, uh, yogurt flavored coating with sea salt. I think these are gonna be really sweet. We yeah. probably could, there's not very many in here. There's what probably ten, three, six, nine, ten, twelve. There's twelve in here. Um, they're very thick, so it's basically like a, a yogurt covered Oreo. Oreo. Yeah, I mean, but pumpkin. But it's, oh, so it's the pumpkin. I JoJo's? think these are the pumpkin JoJo's. Do you want to split one or you want to yeah. have a whole one? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, you can see the pumpkin. Yeah, so you could see that they're just a pumpkin like sandwich cookie covered with with yogurt. Ready? Ready? It's very sweet. I love it. Is the do you taste like the yogurt a lot or no? No, not at all. I think it's very, very good. I could only have one, I would yeah. say. Like it's they're super, super sweet. But they're very good. I would I do like them. I like them a lot. One, two, three, four, four and a half. Five. We're literally the same yeah. for all of them. Four and a half pumpkins. But I think it's very, very good. I think it's definitely worth trying. Yeah. These would be good like I'm gonna be hosting a ladies' night yeah. next Friday, so I'm gonna be making like a, which I'll film all the prep for that because it's gonna be like a fall themed. I'm gonna be making a couple of charcuterie boards and stuff, so I think I'll make a fall themed dessert board one. So I probably would put that on there because that'd be something you might just wanna grab mm -hmm. one or two. So next we're gonna do the, what is it called? Pumpkin brioche twist bread. Right. So yeah, it just says, what is this thing here? Classic French style brioche with a hint of warm spices. Pumpkin-y, slightly sweet, and lightly spicy. Great for French toast sandwiches or toast with nut butter. And we love cinnamon bread. Like, sometimes I just take cinnamon Here. bread for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells good. Yeah, it does. It smells really good. Oh, I'm excited. And somebody said, was it, did you come up with it? Or somebody said like this, in French toast or like as French toast would be really good. I just read that. Um, <laughs> well, the cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Why is your pee so little? <laughs> cheer, okay. cheer. I don't taste any pumpkin nope. at all. Tastes like brioche bread. It just tastes like bread though. I'm not tasting any sweetness. Well, I do think because we just ate the sweetest thing ever Maybe. of those pumpkin JoJo's. I think there is this sweetness to it. I think it's good. I think it just tastes, it more to me tastes like cinnamon swirl brioche bread. No, I'm not even tasting cinnamon. I'm literally only tasting I'm bread. Sure that you can see it I just it. ate a piece of that, <laughs> but I didn't taste it. We'll definitely use it for French toast. I think it would be good as French toast. Me too. Because the texture and everything. And but, the thickness, I like um, Would it be like a repurchase? Probably not for me. I mean, I don't, I don't really think so, but I do think it was so, good. Ready? One, two, three, two, two and pumpkin. a half. I just think like for it being like a pumpkin brioche, bri brioche, brioche, brioche <laughs> bread, it's like I don't taste pumpkin at all. Yeah. Maybe you could justify cinnamon, but yeah, I don't know. So, so this is really not a salsa or something. This is literally a pumpkin chipotle roasting sauce. So like I'm gonna assume you roast it like on meat or something. I don't even know. I don't really know what you do with this, but just so we can get a flavor for it, we're going to take, these are tried and true. These are great. Just the, as you can see, they're tried and true because yes. we've eaten already most of this bag. They are the, what is it? Just leaf, leaf. fall leaf corn tortilla chips. Those are great. They're so cute for like parties. They're tortilla chips, but they're really cute because they're leaf shaped. Show them. So cute. So we're just gonna try it dipped in this pumpkin chipotle roasting sauce just to see what the f or, oh my god. My Amazon video where I have that under cabinet jar opener. Best thing ever. I'm gonna link that down below in case because I hate opening jars. But. Wait, can I just smell it first? Yep. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like it smells like chipotle. I mean, it doesn't really smell is that it chipotle? bad. To me. Yeah, pumpkin chipotle. How is it pumpkin? I don't know. Sorry. Wait, that's actually really good. Mhm. Mm it's actually good with the chips dipped in it too. Mhm. I think it's good. I think it's really good, actually. I don't know, like I'm thinking you can put it on like beef when you before you roast you, or something. No. I don't really know hmm. what you put it on because it doesn't really say. If anyone knows what roasting sauce is for, like what you can put it on, please let us know. Yep. But it's really good. Dipped in the chips, it wasn't even It bad. was really good with the chips. I just don't think I would like it on meat though. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you don't I'm like not meat. a meat. I'm <laughs> she not doesn't a meat like person. Meat, yeah. So. But I just like what else could you put it on then? Yeah. I don't Maybe know. like as a 
Like, you know how you make stir fry and you put like the soy sauce? Maybe oh, like yeah. this instead? You could do something like that. I don't know. I mean, I think you can use it however you want, but what it's intended for, I'm not really sure. So if you yeah. know, let us know. Let us know. But I would say, okay, ready? One, oh, two. Wait. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Okay. One, two, two three, three, three and, and a half. half. Yeah, so it's good. It's just, it's different. Okay, so for a few minutes and a few things to taste test, we are joined by my wonderful husband, Joe. Say hi to the peeps. Hello. <laughs> so we mentioned that he is the ice cream connoisseur, so we are going to have him taste the salted caramel ice cream to get his reaction. So we get to smell it or just taste you, it? Whatever just you want to do. Get the maple too. You have to rate it at one to five pumpkins. Yes. Five being the best. Okay, first of all, give us your opinion. It's actually pretty good. So it reminds me of when I was little, my father used to always get um, yeah, maple, uh, maple ice cream. And obviously that's what this is, but yeah, that's very creamy. That's nice. All right, so out of one to five pumpkins, what would you give it? Um, four and a half. Wow, that's pretty good, because he's good. like a chocolate-only guy. Yeah, he usually so like flavors. That's pretty good. Wow. While he's in here, well, let's have him taste the other two while we're here. So we're gonna taste the Halloween JoJo cookies. And I say while he's here, because he won't stay here for the whole video. <laughs> All are chocolate. They are chocolate. That's the reason we're having you Oh, you want to split or you want a whole one? Oh, you can split it. Okay. Yeah, you can have a whole one. Oh, oh, they're cute. Are they all different? What's yours? The pumpkin? I yeah. think they're all the same. Oh. oh, I think they're all the same. Okay, ready? Go. Tastes like a knockoff Oreo. <laughs> right? yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm expecting the Oreo taste, and it's just a little different. That's not bad, though. I think they're good. So on the count of three, we'll rate it. One, two, three, two pumpkins. three. Two and a half. Okay. So not our favorite. Like not the worst thing, but. And it's only two and a half because it's chocolate. <laughs> I give it a, a two because it's cute. It'll go on the ladies' night and dessert board. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be free. <laughs> well, let's all taste the coffee. Do you like coffee? Okay, right. I'll uh -huh. hold it. So, oh, are you going to say it? <laughs> no, I thought you were going to say it. Okay, next we'll try pumpkin spice coffee because dad loves coffee too. So we only put a tiny bit of cream and a little bit of sugar because we're not really, he drinks it almost black, but anyways, go ahead. I'll go first. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold. Ooh, that's hot. He has a mug that like heats up. Yep, they've seen it. The Ember mug, it's his favorite thing ever. You can link that too. Yep. Yeah, that is good. I like it. Hmm. It's not like overpoweringly, overpowering, like uh, pumpkin taste. It's very <laughs> subtle. Yeah, but it's good because it actually has a good coffee taste. Yeah. Because sometimes coffee doesn't have like a, it's very weak or something, but I think it's pretty good. It's pretty a medium good. roast coffee. Okay, one, two, three, four. four pumpkins. Three and a half. <laughs> I can't get to a steady number. I'm always okay. in the half. All right. Okay. So now we'll try these because the, then he can be excused. This is, these are definitely, I think, new. Chocolate mousse pumpkins, and they just have this velvety chocolate cakes layered with silky mousse. Oh, they're so cute. That would be good on the charcuterie board. Yes. Okay, here you, you go. Do sweets on that too? You can do a sweet charcuterie board. Oh. We're doing a dessert one and a... Ooh, ooh those look good. Okay, so ahead. okay ready? ready set, one, go. Two, three. Mm. 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 That's pretty good. Those are mm. good. Very moist. Mm. This is really good. Wow. That's pretty good. Wow. It reminds me of like, um, remember the old Ding Dongs? Yeah, <laughs> Ding Dongs, yeah. Did you, you have one? Oh. Wow, those are good. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Holy cow. Okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, five. Four and a half. That's a five. You did four and a half too? Mm -hmm. That's a five. 
It's, it's, they're a five. It's a tight four and a half. They're really That's really like a good. four and a half borderline 4.75. <laughs> what do you have to say? This one I'm the most excited for. It's butternut squash mac and cheese. I just love mac and cheese, so I hope it's good. <laughs> in her mind, it's really good. So we'll find out. We just cooked this in the microwave, but you can cook it in the oven also. We just did five and a half minutes in the microwave. Oh, I hope it's good. Ready? Ready. It's hot. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. Oh, I really like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four five and a half. Pumpkins. This is five. For five. Wow. You should try it. You should do a little bit. Come on. No, I'm supposed you. to get you out of your comfort zone. <laughs> this one is a definite tried and true. This is the maple, sea, maple and sea salt kettle corn. This is our second bag. <laughs> Mom loves like kettle corn mm -hmm. and stuff, so she's she knows mm -hmm. this is her thing. I think it's amazing. It's very sweet. I don't taste any salt. That's the only thing. Yeah, a little bit of salt would balance it out, but mm. I would right. say there's some of those pieces that are like coated mm -hmm. in the maple syrup, and I'm not a huge fan of those because they're. Super so sweet. sweet and you can like take like I feel like it's just crystallized maple yeah. syrup that's yeah. it like I don't even taste popcorn um I think like you said if, the, if it was like a little saltier yeah it would be better like I want to just put salt in the bag and shake it yeah because I think that would make it better right that was my take okay. one two three four pumpkins five of course it's a five for me I love it <laughs> it's so good okay so now we're gonna try the Autumnal harvest soup, a creamy tomato based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. So I heated this up in the microwave. It definitely is like chunky. Er, yeah. <laughs> can I smell it? She's not a big soup fan. Yeah. Oh, my hair. Almost. Oh, it smells like tomato soup, actually. It smells mm. good. Okay, ready? Oh, I don't really like chunky soups. <laughs> I don't like I don't like soup. I don't like it. Do you like it? Huh? You're a soup girl, so this is good from you. I, I do like it. I don't love it. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but I think it's good. Oh. One, two, three, one three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna have one more bite. Actually. You can eat it all, Mom. You can have the whole mm. jar. Okay, so next, not that. Yes, that. Oh, right, okay. So next we're gonna try the Trader Joe's pumpkin cheesecake croissants. Mm. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared because if you remember last year we tried the pumpkin empanadas and whew, that was a little bit too much straight up pumpkin for me, but I'm not a huge fan of croissants, so that's, but it's not overly like big. No, like, all right. Cut. Mm. Mm. All right, so for me, this is a texture thing. Wait, for me, it's actually, I'm tasting a lot of cream cheese. Yeah, I mean, it definitely tastes like, um, it's not bad. It tastes like cheesecake. Like, yeah. it does taste like cheesecake, but I think of cheesecake as cold. Yeah, so I guess maybe so that's, that's the, the only part. thing. It's like kind of give me a weird texture vibe because if the center was cold but the croissant was hot that would be real that would be good actually i, I think it's the cheesecake aspect of it that I, like it's it's very cream cheesy but is that like what the middle of pumpkin pie tastes like kind of. it's not bad it actually does taste it does remind me of pumpkin pie but with like a cream cheese vibe to it i feel like if it didn't have the cream cheese vibe to it i would really like this so you would probably love pumpkin pie you have never had pumpkin i've pie? never had no because you don't like it right so i don't, I don't like it but ever, like whenever we go to Thanksgiving and stuff, like when it was, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, don't I know. feel like I always stick to what I know so that I don't make anyone feel bad if I don't like it. True. So, yeah. True. One, two, three, two and a half. Three and a half. I was, I was going between three and a half and four, so I go, I'll go 3.75. So you yeah, actually kind of like it. Yeah. These I'm excited for. These are the pumpkin spice Madeline cookies. So, we'll try these. They are soft. How, have you had, what is a Madeline cookie? I don't know. Okay. So we'll find out. I really don't have any. said they would be good. Yeah. Let's just split one. Or just take yeah. a little piece. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought they were like chocolate in the middle. No. Mm -mm. Well, then I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. One, two, three. 
One, two, three, four, two and a half. You liked them that much? I think they're really good. They're like very subtle. I feel like they don't. They're like pumpkin cakes. Yes, they don't taste like a cookie to me at all. Mm -hmm. Like they're, they're not crispy at all. No. They're very soft. They're like cake. -like. They're like little cake things, but they're really good. To okay, me. so now we are going to do the pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. It'll be interesting to see what I think of these. But um, so we're gonna try these. So we made them in the microwave. You can do them in the microwave or in the oven. So you you put this in, it's like upright in this little mold. You, I put it in for 55 seconds and then you let it sit inverted on the plate for a minute and then you just pull the mold off. Now this would be Whoa. like the prettiest dessert to like serve someone and I think they show it somewhere in here with ice cream. Yeah, like on the back they'll show it like served with ice cream or something, but like the little like stickiness kind of that runs like, off the side. Out. Yeah, <laughs> so it's really, it's a pretty, very pretty dessert. Yeah. Really, really sweet. Yeah. Um, I don't hate it. I feel like if it, there was a little less of this glaze stuff. Yeah. It's basically it, tastes like a pumpkin cake. They all some, taste like pumpkin cake. Like a pumpkin cake with the sticky, <laughs> sticky, sticky stuff, stuff on it. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, three pumpkins. and a half. Not my favorite, but I think it's good. Oh no. Um, let's do these because we basically have already done them. So. Okay. So these are the pumpkin flavor Jojo's. So just the, basically the Oreo cookies. Um, I'm so cute. Look, it's got a little barn on this side and a little truck on this side. <laughs> little red um, truck. Little red truck. So yeah, we'll just. I don't love them. They're okay. I think they're better than the chocolate Jojo's. Yeah, I think my first initial reaction was I didn't like them, but then as I got chewing them, I'm like, all right, they're actually not bad. Yeah. They're pretty pumpkin -y, but um, they're very, again, very, very sweet. What I like about these as opposed to Oreos is I like the cream because it's creamier. You know, like yeah. Oreos, it comes off as like one little, little patty. round patty thing of icing. This is nice and creamy, but anyways, okay, ready? Mm. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, three, three and a five. half. Yeah, yep. I think they're good. I mean, I think that they would be cute to put out again at a party or something and somebody to have one or two. They probably just would not eat a bunch of them, I don't think. But as you can tell, mom's in the, like the party mindset. Yes. So that's why I everything's am. like, I am. Nice to be good at our party. I am. So I hope all the ladies that are coming to ladies night are watching this because they know what they're going to have for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Last sorry. thing. Last thing is these petite pumpkin spice cookies. They are shortbread cookies in a pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. They're really cute, actually. So you can kind of see them through here. So they could be good on a charcuterie board. Or at a party. Or at a party. <laughs> One, two, three. Mm. Mm. Very subtle, subtle pumpkin spice. I think that's probably why I like them, is it's not like an overpowering pumpkin spice. I think these are good. One, two, three, four and a half. Wow, five we got a, huh? Five pumpkins. They're very good. Those are delicious. All right, so my absolute favorite, I think were those chocolate mousse little pumpkins. I think those were so cute. Although, hold on. The butternut squash mac and cheese was very good. That's my favorite. I would say those two. I would say the mac and cheese. And those probably. Yeah. The, the like pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice cookies, cookies that we just did. All right, you guys. Well, now we're going to go throw up. <laughs> now we're going to go sleep for the rest of the day. Have a stomach ache. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the office decorating. I hope that this was entertaining for you. Gave you a little idea of what Trader Joe's has out right now. And yeah, stay tuned because we'll do a Christmas one. Did we do a Christmas one? I don't think so. We must not have gotten to it because Christmas season comes so fast, Wait. but we'll make a point to try to do it. No, I don't remember. I feel like I don't remember it. I remember doing the fall one. Me too. I don't remember Christmas. We should do a Christmas. Yes. With so, Amanda. Yep. So anyways, thank you to my daughter, Megan, and my husband who just went to take Miss Kova to the park uh, for joining me today with, on today's video. And 
If you're new, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy this video or any other decorating videos or other fun fall content and Halloween and Christmas and it's just fun from here on out, give me a thumbs up and hit that bell notification so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. Follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Thank yes. you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.